Uh, Tom, boy, I tell you what, this has had a punch, and we were talking about how long it's been coming across the entire couple of states here. And by the time it gets to us, we're still dealing with very warm, muggy conditions out there. Skies are really darkening very quickly. Our Judy Lykowski is out there in the southern parts of South Bend. We'll have her shot coming up for you in just a moment. But again, we are already looking at some very, very heavy rain moving in towards Grant Road, over towards the St. Joseph Valley Parkway. So again, the bypass, 31 and 20, going to see some very heavy rain. It's really going to drop those visibilities, making it extremely dangerous to be on the roadways as this storm initially hits. So again, very, very strong gusty winds here. Crumbstown Highway right now, heading down to New Road. This is where we're seeing some of the worst weather moving in towards St. Joseph County right now. So metro area within just a couple of minutes here, we are talking about the gusty winds and also all of that very, very heavy rain that's going to start passing into the region. Again, we've been seeing reports inside the storm here of easily up to 50 to 60 mile per hour winds as that storm has been approaching the metro area. So it's going to start to push in right here along 31, eventually right through the southern part of downtown South Bend. North Liberty already really getting hit very hard with some of those heavy rains and really gusty winds. La Paz also 31, not going to be good to be on 31 now. It's already started to move over 31. Lakeville just about to get in on the heavy rain too. But again, very heavily traveled down 31 right now. Not a good time to be on that road. Third road over towards fifth road. That's where we're seeing some of that very heavy rain around La Paz right now. And again, six is another one of those uh, intersections where you have a lot of people too. Plymouth just beginning to get in on the gusty winds also. Downtown Plymouth, this is where we're seeing some of the heavy rain and those gusty winds right now. Look at this, over an inch and a half of rain in some locations. So you get in and initially you're looking about a half an inch of rain per hour. That's already very heavy, up to an inch and a half behind it. So more or less blinding rain coming in to that metro area right now around Plymouth. So again, we've got all these severe thunderstorm warnings in effect. Again, that's going to be in effect all the way until we get into the rest of this evening here over the next half hour. So that does include the downtown South Bend area. 821, already seeing some heavy rain beginning to push again over towards the airport right now in South Bend. 823, Roseland, Argus 824, wide about the same time into Bremen at 825. So that leading edge again moving very quickly. Just a half an hour ago, we were on updating you on those storms and they were pushing in. They're already beginning to move in towards the downtown area. In fact, we do have that shot from Judy Lykowski right now. One of the great reporters that are out there putting themselves out and allowing you to see exactly what the storm looks like. But so far, we don't have anything besides this picture. But check out those clouds right now. Tom, that kind of just basically tells you just how turbulent and how strong some of these thunderstorms are right now. Oh, absolutely. You can see that darkening of the sky. Again, this is right on the edge of South Bend right now. We also have a shot outside of our studios. That's going to be up and going as well. Again, it is getting very dark out there. Again, you have, again, maybe 10 minutes. 10 minutes to really get inside and you need to hunker down. Again, do you need to go down in your basement? Maybe not, but you definitely need to be in a sturdy shelter within your home in a safe place because we're going to see some strong winds. Likely the power will be going out within the next 10 to 15 minutes. Grab the flashlight, have that at the ready. Likely your power will be going out. Try and charge your cell phone. Again, charge the cell phone, grab the flash flashlight, we're up on ABC57.com and our Facebook page as well. We'll have you here even when the lights go out. Yeah, that is a great thing. Make sure, yeah, make sure that's all fully charged and even your phones, things like that. You can always check us out online and on air, of course. And Chief, I just noticed too, if we can, are we able to pull that shot back up that Judy Lykowski had? Uh, I'll we, go back I, outside, Brian. Here's our live shot. Oh, there you, it is. You noticed, Tom, as you were talking about that shot, all of those lights went out in the parking oh. lot uh, of that shot of Judy Lykowski's. We're also getting power outage reports now from Indiana, Michigan. Power, LaPorte County reporting yeah, 1,764 people yeah, right just, now. Just check, out the, just check out the trees right there. You can see just how quickly it went from just being very dark to just really blowing out there right now. So. Uh, Oh, we got people out. That's that's the worst thing. You're out on a bicycle. You can get inside people right now is the time. Yeah, and, and you'll light, you know, it doesn't take much lightning. Obviously, any bolt of lightning is dangerous. You got people outside. So it's not only the winds, we're talking about lightning coming down. A lot of people are scrambling to try to get inside right now. And this is the time to be uh, getting inside as as Tom mentioned. Stay away from the windows. I know it is kind of, you know, you get curious, you want to see what it looks like, but stay away from windows. Limbs come down. Yeah, yeah uh, you're right with that, Jamie. Let's get back to the radar real quick, and we'll go back to this shot because we're about to track this storm right over that point right here. Again, that's towards the south side of South Bend right here. So we'll go back to that shot just within a second, and I think we're going to time out the difference here, Jamie. So let's take a look at some of the, some yeah, of the, what's, what's going on right now with some of these streets. It's on the west side of South Bend right now. I, I'll ID these for you. Sure, excellent. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, over by the airport, we're definitely looking at it coming down right now around the airport. Obviously, that's going to cause some delays and some problems from Edison Road all the way down to Ford Street. Low 
Locust also picking up some of that really heavy rain. Fremont too. So downtown South Bend, folks down there definitely want to get inside right now. Probably feeling that wind beginning to gust uh, in the downtown area. Folks on the west.